Hi guys. So, um, trying to keep my phone on the holder, but the holder for the phone keeps falling. I don't drive and I don't use my phone at the same time. I hate people who do that. But I feel that um, I just got I gotta get something off my chest. So let's see if this thing holds the phone. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. So, I just want to say I hope everybody's okay and I hope everybody's safe. And, um, you know, this coronavirus thing, I hate, I hate getting into all this bullshit because a lot of people have different things to say and people don't say what, the problem with us people, and it's all of us, we don't know how to take, respect somebody else's opinion or thought process or whatever, like... People who say it's a conspiracy, people who say it was the government. You know, if I say that I don't agree, people will call you dumb and blah, 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 right? Now, if you think that it's a conspiracy, if you think that it's the government, if you think it's whatever, whatever, it's fine. Like, that's what you think. I can't change how you feel. However, the fact of the matter is that this is going on. Whether it's whoever or whatever, or if it's the work of God, or if it's the work of man, if it was created by man, whatever it is. What I do know is that I've been in the medical field for 15 years, just about, officially. That's officially, because I've been working with doctors before that. Um, <clears throat> and I do know that this thing that's happening, it's real. It's not fake. Celebrities are not getting paid to say that they have the coronavirus just to scare the public, because I've already known about four people that had family members and friends die to this coronavirus, um, where I work at, there's a business, I can't say what business it is, but there's a business that has four employees that have it, they had to shut down the business, where, next to, close to where I work at, not where I work at, sorry, let me rephrase that, because we don't have that, thank God, um, so, you know, what I do know is that what's obviously available and, you know, clear to the public that this is true, and what I also know is that even though I'm not a doctor, right, um, and I'm not, I don't have any right to say, you know, numbers and blah, 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 blah. However, what I will say is that, is that, um, that the numbers are rising in New York and like more than we expected, right? Because I, you know, I do work for doctors and, you know, discussions go on and so on and so forth. And the numbers are rising. Okay, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. So, sorry. So the numbers are rising um, more than I guess they expected. Um, and there's still a lot of people out here. I'm driving around Brooklyn right now and I cannot believe the amount of people that are outside without gloves, without mask, um, you know, and a lot of people are like, oh, if it's going to catch you, it's going to catch you, but if we can do something to minimize it, right, especially where there's kids, um, I was in a, I was doing some shopping yesterday really quick, right, and I have, like, my gloves on, my mask on, I have my coat on, so, you know, I'm like, oh, whatever, covered up as much as I possibly can, right, and I made a quick run, and there's people... There was people, it was in a supermarket. There was, and there was kids without, you know, there was, I seen adults, which is crazy, with masks and gloves, and the kid is walking around with nothing. People, for some reason, people think because of your age, you can't get this. What we fail to realize is that at the end of the day, we're all human. Human is the key word here. Age has nothing to do with it. There's a few reports of kids under the age of 14 with this coronavirus, and two of them are in critical conditions and out of those two one of them doesn't have uh like a severe lung disease or whatever they're saying whatever so anyways even if they did or they didn't their kids they're suffering whether you're 95 years old who the hell wants to spend their last years of life suffering like that like you you can't breathe you know we what we take for granted every day you know we breathe every day we're able to you know, hold our breath for 30 seconds if we want to, at least for those people who can. Um, 
uh, you know, people that smoke, you're able to get up in the morning and smoke a cigarette and drink a coffee, right? But who wants to have this thing that stops you from doing all of that? Nobody, right? So, you know, we got to take ourselves into consideration. The problem with us here in New York is that we're all assholes. And I say we because we're, you know, we're New Yorkers. And I know I can be an asshole as well. But we have this fucking stupid mentality that it cannot happen to us. That's the same mentality that we have when we say that our sons or our uh, our, our men cannot die and then a few months later we're wearing fucking t-shirts with their picture on it saying rest in peace opening up, up a GoFundMe page you know th- we gotta stop that mentality because um, we're never gonna get anywhere like that and and I get it I totally get it yes we're all gonna die I get it you know I, I, I know that too oh we're all gonna die It's not about dying. It's about the fucking process you take to go there. And the process is not funny. I've been sick in my life. I'm pretty sure most of us have. And, you know, we've had kids that have been sick. I know I've been through some shit with my daughter. And, you know, um, she's, you know, she's here by the grace of God. I believe in God so much. You know, um, this is all happening for a reason. Like I said, whether it's his work. Or a conspiracy or the government. Whatever anybody thinks. I don't know. And at this point, I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's here. We have to be responsible for each other. Maybe if we listen just one time. If we just listen. If we just listen. You know, and take it easy. And and, and stay clean. And, you know, keep up with your hygiene. Stay indoors. If you don't have to go out, don't go out. That's all you got to do is stay home. You know what's funny? People that are always home not want to be out. Like, people that are always at home on the internet, you know, like the internet workers, that's what I call them, that, you know, don't do anything. And I'm not talking about people that are disabled or whatever. I'm talking about people who literally stay home, collect a check, do nothing but be on the internet all day, don't take care of their kids, because I know some people like that. They absolutely do not take care of their kids. Um, They don't do anything at all but sit on the internet and complain all day. They complain about the president. They complain about the governor. They complain about welfare. They complain about food stamps. And they do absolutely nothing. These are the same people that now want to go outside. All because the weather's getting nice. What am I supposed to do with these kids? What? Stay your ass inside. Like, that's what you should do. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I don't know. I think we need to get it together. I think we need to really, really, really take this very serious. These numbers are going up so much. We do not have enough hospital beds. We do not have enough staff. And as a person in the medical field, um, you know, I ask you that, you know, just think about it. If if our doctors and our nurses get sick, who's going to take care of these sick people? Think about it because we're human too. You know what I'm saying? My doctors... The doctors I work for, they're amazing. They're on top of everything. Um, This is probably why, even though I complain at times, I'm still working there because I love and respect them. And when I need something, they're there, you know. And when I have a question, they answer it with no problem. So if all these doctors get sick and these nurses get sick, who's going to take care of the public? That's what I want to know. So why don't we just stay inside, you know. Stay inside as much as you can. I'm not saying to not go outdoors or whatever like if you can if you go out three times a week cut it to two times a week or one time a week you know things like that let's slow this thing down so that our grandparents don't suffer our kids don't suffer our brothers and sisters don't suffer i definitely don't want to see my mother suffering from that shit i don't want to see anybody's grandparents suffering from that shit i definitely don't want to see my kids suffering from that shit so We just got to be a little bit more considerate. This is the time that we're supposed to be together. You know, China's getting better. All these, we always complain about all these other countries. And these countries, let me tell you something. When these countries, something goes wrong, these countries, the first thing they do is say, fuck everything. They all get on the same page, get rid of the problem, and then they go back to whatever it is they're doing. America, for some strange reason, decides to, we, we divide ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And I don't understand why we do this. We're the land of the free. We're like the dopest country. We have everything available to us. New York alone, everything is convenient. A lot of people live in New York because everything is convenient. There's a grocery store in every corner. There's a bus stop in every other block. There's trains everywhere. We have cabs. We have all these things. If you go to outside places, buses stop running at like 7 o'clock at night. You know, um, 
we have a ton of hospitals. You know, when my daughter goes to college at, she has to pay like $60 just to take a cab to the hospital. And the cab stopped running at 2 o'clock in the morning. So if she needs to go to the hospital at 3 o'clock in the morning, she has to call 911. And guess what? 911 takes about half an hour to get there. That's how long the ride is. So we have to be grateful for these things that we have in order to keep these things, in order for our future generations to have these things, we should all stick together and, you know, we should really, really, really nip this in the bud, seriously, for lack of better words, because I don't, I already cursed a few times and I'm trying to cut down on that, because when I get upset or when I feel strongly about something, I curse a lot, but that's not nice, so, but seriously though, all jokes aside, like, we should really, really, really nip this in the bud, we should get it together, we, you don't go out, stay inside, you know, um, don't go crazy buying toilet paper. Like, if you stay inside, you don't have to buy all this Lysol and all these wipes and all these masks and all these things. Right now, my job has a shortage of masks. Look, this is the ones we have. And I also have, this is the regular surgical mask. I also have a construction worker mask as well because uh, we don't have masks. We, we're running very low, so we have to tread carefully on how many masks we use. Um, for a lot of you that don't know, the doctors have to sign their name to get one mask. They have to sign in, like a sign-in sheet, just to, like, get one mask. They're not allowed to just, you know, go into a room like before, grab a pair of mask and a pair of gloves and throw it. They have to sign for this now because there's such a big shortage because the public went crazy and bought it. And I get it. We all want to protect ourselves. But if you're staying inside, you don't need all these things. You know what I'm saying? Or you need a limited amount. I don't want to say you don't need it at all because... I have OCD, so I would definitely buy my family, like, a pack of masks or whatever. But if we limit the times we go out and our houses are clean, right, and we wash our hands and we shower, um, you know, we wouldn't have this shortage going on and we, we wouldn't need all these extra things for people that don't, you know, don't need it. So um, I saw a picture yesterday that broke my heart. There was an old lady in a supermarket, um that she was crying because there was nothing left in the supermarket for her to buy. And somebody commented under the picture where she's 80-something years old anyways. Like, because you're 80-something years old, it's like you already lived your life. What about if God says she was supposed to live to 100? So what is she going to do for the rest of the 20 years of her life? You know, like, this, this, this new thing about people, once you hit like 35, you're old and you're washed up. And that shit doesn't make no sense because... We're supposed to live long, healthy, happy lives, right? So if our average lifespan is 85, 90, and we're 35, you're saying, oh, we already lived up. Like, that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make sense. Oh, you're already old? I don't understand. And then the older people, right, let these younger kids, like, manipulate them into thinking that. So... I'll joke around and I'll be like, oh, you know, I'm old, but no, I'm not old. I don't feel old. I feel great. Um, you know, a lot of us do. A lot of people my age do. And I don't understand. A lot of younger people look older than we do, by the way. Um, I don't mean to say that, but they do. But it's sad to see the older people act like much younger people and let these younger cats manipulate them into thinking they're old and they're washed up. So... You know, their lives don't matter. Our lives do matter, honey, because we're the ones that got to take care of you youngest when you get sick. So if you stay your ass in Sa, you know, we won't have this problem. All that playing manhunt in the city and all that crazy shit and I want to be in the park. And right now I'm by a park. I pulled over because I'm on the phone and my thing doesn't want to hold the phone up. So I, I'm not moving. But right now there's one, two, three, four. There's about... There's about 10 people right now in a park working out. 10 people, right? Um, I pass through this neighborhood all the time. All the time. There's never been that many people in the park working out. Not even in the summertime. Maybe one or two. I have a patient over here, so I'm always over here. Um, there's, and now there's 10 people in the park. And they don't have no mask, no gloves, no nothing. I'm looking at them right now. Nope nothing so like anyways i'm gonna just cut this video but guys stay home if you do not need to go out stay home you know stay home if it require if you're required to be at work i get it 
If you can stay home, take advantage of it. Stay home. Do something with yourself. Read. You know, watch TV with your kids. Play around with them. This is what we need, that old school stuff where our mothers used to stay home and cook and clean and discipline us and help us with our homework, things like that. So that when we do go out, we appreciate, oh, we, you know, summertime is here. We don't appreciate shit. That's the problem. So stay home. Appreciate the people that you got around you. Appreciate the people that are trying to help you get better. Appreciate um, anyone that is that has to be at work. And, and, and I say has to be. I don't want to use that word essential workers because to me, yeah, it's essential workers. But I'm not an essential worker. Everybody's an essential worker. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know. You know, people who deliver food are, are essential workers. People in the supermarket who bag your groceries. You're not going to bag your groceries. They're essential workers. So they're cutting a lot of these people in the grocery stores and in the supermarkets are getting sent home. At least half of them. Or they're, you know, they're losing shifts because of this. Everybody's an essential worker. But the if you're not required legally to be at work, stay home. Stay home. Enjoy the time off. You know, for the men... Let your balls catch some air. You know what I'm saying? Sit there on the sofa. Let your balls... For the ladies, listen, take your wigs off. Let that hair breathe. We be all right. We be all right. You know what I'm saying, girl? So, we be all right. Um. Yeah, so, you know, we gonna be all right if we do what we gotta do. We just gotta do what we gotta do, all right? So, peace and love to everyone. Um. You know, keep sharing videos of funny things and 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 um and laughter and good music happy music um not no mumble depressive stuff um and we all gonna be all right just keep putting positive vibes out there and positive messages and you know fight with your family members to stay their asses home all right peace and love bye